Okay, so next I'm going to do a simple calculation. This is an example from the midterm in 2015. Uh, and it says that we have a rectangular block of wood that's floating in some oil. The specific gravity of the wood is 0.65. Wood generally floats on water, so it has a specific gravity less than one. That makes sense. So it floats on oil with 75% of its volume below the free surface. So I've drawn that here. 75% of H is below the free surface of the oil. And what we're after is to find the specific gravity of the oil that the wood is floating in. Okay, so what's the force balance for a floating object? Think about that for a moment before we move on. So for a floating object, the weight equals the buoyancy force. The weight, of course, acts at the centroid the center of mass of the wood block, which would be the center of volume for a uniform piece of wood. So right there. In contrast, the buoyancy force, now it's not important for this problem, but it will be for subsequent analyses, to recognize that the buoyancy force acts at the center of the displaced volume. That's this blue area here. So you can see it acts uh, slightly below the center of gravity here. And I've, I've just, of course, it would act on the center line, but I've just shifted it off so you can see the location of the buoyancy force. And so we have the buoyancy force equals the weight for a floating object. The buoyancy force using Archimedes principle, instead of using the pressure distribution, it's much easier to use Archimedes principle, that it's the gamma of oil, which is kind of what we're after. We're after the density of the oil to get the specific gravity, times the volume displaced equals the specific weight of the wood times the volume of the wood. That's just the, the weight of the wood. And you're told in the problem that the wood block floats with 75% of its volume submerged. So the displaced volume is equal to 0.75 of the total volume. We can make the substitution in here for the displaced volume equaling 0.75 of the total volume, and we get this expression. Now the volume of the wood cancels out on the left and right, and we can divide by the specific gravity, the gamma of water, in order to express this equation in terms of specific gravity. Remember, specific gravity is the gamma of the fluid over the gamma of water, technically at 4 degrees C. So I've divided through by the gamma of water, and here's the specific gravity of oil that we're after, and here's the specific gravity of the wood that we're given in the problem is equal to 0.65. So the specific gravity of the oil is just the specific gravity of the wood divided by 0.75, the fraction that's submerged, and we get the specific gravity of the oil equal to 0.867, which is the answer.